Hello, I'm Catherine and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back. I have missed all of you. I thought in this video I'd do a get ready with me and share with you kind of where I've been. It's not been anything that exciting and share some of the products that I have been grabbing on a regular basis this past month or two that I've been gone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of my favorite products that I'm using right now. I want to preface this video by saying this is now the third time I have had to film this intro. For some reason, I'm having battery issues. I'm having memory card issues. Everything is just not going my way in putting this together. So the beginning part of this video may look a little bit different than the mo majority of the video. It's really just the very beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I have been using my Ulla Henriksen primer. This is the Banana Bright Primer. I've talked about this multiple times on my channel. I love this primer. It's like a dual skincare and primer makeup product in one. Gives you a slight glow, a little bit of just health, I think, which is really nice. And it feels so nice on the skin. Okay, so for foundation, the foundation that I have been loving lately, I'm sorry to say, is the La Mer foundation. I have it in the shade Natural. I really do love this foundation. I know it is expensive, but it is a really nice foundation for winter time, and I can use about a pump and a half, and it just helps to keep my skin hydrated and I don't know, I just really love it in the winter. It just has a, a really smooth, satiny look and feel. So as I'm applying this, I'll tell you, unfortunately in November, beginning of November, my husband got COVID and then he gave COVID to me, which is, you know, whatever. And we were both vaccinated, but not this, I don't want anything to become a political discussion, but we were both vaccinated but we had not, our age group had not been approved yet to get a booster. And so we got COVID and I really, my thoughts are that if we had had the booster, I think we would have been fine. And so he was not really that sick. I actually was pretty sick, nothing like hospitalization, nothing that severe, but I was wiped out and for two weeks really could do nothing. So of course, right before Thanksgiving, right before the holidays, right before both of my kids came home from school, I was just absolutely behind in every possible way. So unfortunately I had to stop filming and doing things for you guys because I just was so behind. So I'm excited to be back for 2022. I have a lot of great ideas and I'm just really excited about it. I have a lot of good videos in the hopper, and if you have any things that you would like for me to film, please let me know. I am enjoying getting back into my makeup. I never stopped using my makeup. So it was a short hiatus, but unfortunately that's the way life goes, especially in our culture right now. Um, so I hope that you all are well and staying safe, and we're all gonna get through this together, right? It's just kind of a mess, but I'm absolutely fine getting caught back up and excited for 2022. Another product I've been pulling a ton is this duo from Trish McAvoy that I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And this one is the Instant Eye Lift, which is just like a corrector. It does have some caffeine if you need to kind of depuff as well as color correct under your eye. So I really do appreciate this instant eye lift. I've been pulling it a lot. And then the, it came with the eye base essentials, which is just a nice eyeshadow primer. And I have been using that. I like it very much. I don't know that I like it as well as the one from NARS, but I do like this. I think it's very nice. It definitely takes care of the veins and it does a nice job at keeping eyeshadows on for a longer time and kind of pop, making them pop a little bit more as well. For concealer, lately I've really been loving this Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener, and you need the tiniest amount. I don't love having to put a little bit on my hand. It's not the biggest deal, but you need seriously the smallest amount because it is so brightening. You'll see when I put it on, you, if you do too much, it's just way too white. Um, but it's a nice formula, and it really takes away the darkness 
without adding a lot of product, which has been nice and helpful with not as much creasing. So I have been enjoying this Fenty Eye Brightener. I've been going to it quite a bit, and then I like to use it kind of anywhere I have some darkness, if I have any left over. I try to use the least amount possible. I have the shade Seashell in this, and I really enjoy it. Powder, I have fallen in love. First, I wanna to apologize to you because several of the products that I'm gonna be using in here are high-end and expensive, but I have found that they are exceptional. So I'm always gonna share with you when something is worth the money and when it is not. Like the La Mer, I really feel like that is a gorgeous foundation. I don't think it's worth the $125 or whatever it is, but I would definitely spend 80 on it. Um, wait for a sale if you can. Um, this powder though, this Givenchy powder is the best powder I have ever used. It's their Prisma, Prisma Libre, and I have it in the shade Voile Rosé, and it's several different shades of powder. They all kind of come together. It's not the best, um, not the best for getting it all out, but they all four kind of come together into one powder. I have been loving these Jason Wu eye puffs. This has been incredible. So I just get a little bit of the powder, I press it in on my puff, and I take this under the eye to set. This is not a cakey powder. It is not a drying powder, but it will set your makeup. It is gorgeous. I have really been loving this powder so much, and I've seen such a difference in my makeup from using it, and that is the key. So I've been loving this. It's, you don't need very much. I love these little triangular puffs. You can get these on Amazon, not the Jason Wu ones. You can get those on his website, but um, you can get a similar triangular puff on Amazon. If you just do makeup puff, you'll, it'll come up. I love this powder. It is incredible. And like you can see, I just needed the smallest amount and it just smoothed my face and it's like porcelain. I love this powder. The bronzer I have been going to time and time again is my Gucci bronzer. I'm in shade two and I really do love it. This is one of the new brushes from Rose and Ben Beauty. It's a brand new company. If you don't follow Rose and Ben on Instagram, you should. She's an amazing makeup artist. She came out with a line of brushes and these are just gorgeous. And this is a really interesting bronzer brush. I've never used anything like it, but I've been loving it. And it just puts the perfect amount of bronzer for a contour on your cheek and it's great for the hairline. So I will link these brushes down below as well as the other products. But I've really been loving so many of her products. This brush has definitely been one of them. You can see how smoothly this bronzer is so nice. It's creamy, it's easy to blend. It just gives you that perfect look of a little bit of color, a little bit of life. And I, I love that. So I love this Gucci bronzer. For blush, I have fallen in love with several products from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Um, she had some sales over Christmas, and so I took advantage of it because I had never tried anything from the brand. One of the things that I had heard many people talking about was her cream blushes. So I got this one in the shade Mini Skirt, and this is the color. I'll show you the. This is the color from Mini Skirt, and I'll swatch it on my hands so you can kind of see. It is so pretty for the winter time. Now, what I find. Um, this is a wonderful product on top of powders. It doesn't pull, which is what I like about it. I can just put a little bit of the blush where I would want it. I'm using another one of the Rosenbend Beauty brushes. This is the blush brush, and I can just take this and move that product where I want it to go. And you see I got a little, had a little bit of play time, but I like the fact that I can just go directly with the stick because I can put it exactly where I want it. Some of these you have to kind of mix on your hand before or mix them on the um, actual brush. But I like that I can use this directly from, and I can just add a little bit more. This is a wonderful cream blush formula. I just keep being drawn to it. 
This brush is also really good. I, ha I love a lot of different brushes for cream products. The most inexpensive is this e.l.f. Putty. The e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator is so good for any type of cream product, but this has been a really nice um, blush brush. You can use this with powder or with cream, which I really appreciate. It's got enough density to really give you what you need. So there is the blush. This is again, one of my favorite colors. It's mini skirt. I also got the shade Playground, which is a little bit more of a warm tone and it's up top. So this is mini skirt, kind of a beautiful flushed cheek look and then Playground. For a highlight, I picked up this Scott Barnes mini highlight. This is in the shade Downright Dewy and it's a very pretty highlight. Um, I am just gonna use this Anastasia A23 brush to show you. It's just a powder highlight, but it's it's got some punch, but not too much. A Little bit of subtleness on the cheek. Very pretty, easy to wear, and very easy to apply. And I just like the fact that it gives me the, the glow that I want without giving me too much glow. Just a perfect, downright dewy, very, very nice. I haven't been gravitating to anything particular for my brows, so I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows, and then I'll be back. For eyeshadow, I fell in love with another one of the Victoria Beckham products. This is called her Smoky Eye Brick, and I have the shade Signature. I've really been leaning towards very neutral eyes um, and using a lot of neutral palettes, and this is just a beautiful one for that. As you can see, all the shades are one, which is kind of interesting. You get the most of this shade and then kind of a peachy shade. This is a deeper kind of a chocolatey brown shade. And then this is a deeper um, taupey shade. So I'll show you how I've been using this. I've just been taking that biggest shade on the end and taking that all over the lid just to kind of get a little bit of a base down and I'm just using a fluffy brush for this. I'll pull the shade back out a little later when we're diffusing. And then I found, I think, one of my very favorite eye brushes of all time. It's from Scott Barnes, his 01 brush. And I wanna just show it to you so you can see how unique it is. This shape is like a fan, and then that's from the side. It's skinny, and so you can see that fan. It is incredible for putting eye makeup in the crease. So what I've been doing is I take this brush and I go into that furthest shade, the taupey shade, and I just put this right on the edge, and I literally press this right into my crease and a little bit above. But you can see I'm just taking this and pressing it directly in to give a little bit of dimension. I'll go a little bit more in just for this inside part, but it gives the most beautiful, smooth look. So it's a combination of this palette, but also this brush I've used with so many palettes and it's incredible. I can even bring it over a little bit into the inner corner, but you can see how nice that's just giving me some dimension. Then I'm gonna go in and do the other eye, the exact same idea. I'm just going to take it and press it. I'm literally just pressing it with this brush right where I want it in the crease and I love how it gives that dimension and a little bit of lift. I take it all the way down into the corner like that. Then I'm going to go back to my fluffy brush into that first shade and just press on the brow bone and right above where I've placed that, just so that there's no harsh line, but it just kind of seamlessly goes right into the brow bone. And I love that. I just take another brush into this kind of a peachy, lighter shade, and I just place that, um, and you can see I'm pressing again right on the front of the lid here and I press it all the way up into where I put that crease shade. And this is the simplest, most classic eye. It's just a simple, classic eye that you just cannot go wrong with. 
Now, I don't use the dark shade that often because I prefer to use an eyeliner, but you could use the dark shade, of course, as an eyeliner. I have just been continuously pulling this. It's just such a pretty, these are all matte shades. It's all so compact, it's perfect to travel with, and you can see it's just such an easy, classic eye. Nothing exciting, neutral, easy, really pretty. Loving this, um, loving this smoky eye brick in signature. I have been so clear about my love for these Mario eyeliners. They're incredible. They're the best eyeliner out there, in my opinion. Um, so I like to use this. This is in the perfect brown. I also like soft brown. I just go right on the lash line. Not even super accurate. That's the beauty of this eye look. We're gonna kind of smoke this a little bit. I just use the other end. You could use a brush and go over it just to kind of give it a little smokiness and a little bit more character. These are very long wearing. So that is the eyeliner. I love it, it's so simple, so easy. Um, next for mascara, I have been using, I had this sample of the NARS Climax Extreme and I have been, in, I have been enjoying it. It is a good mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. This is with my Surratt Lash Curler, which I still love, it's my favorite. And then I will be right back. Okay, so this is a huge wand on this. So if you don't like big wands like this, you will not like this. Of course, this is a mini, so it looks in particularly big, but the, these are extreme lashes. I was never a huge fan of um, the Climax mascara from NARS, but I have been enjoying this extreme one. I don't know why more, but I do like it. It hasn't been smudging on me and it gives me a nice, effect with my lashes. I still only like mascara on my top lashes, so I like to have an effect with that since I'm not gonna do any on the bottom. Just have found that that's the most lifting. But I think you'll see now that I've got mascara on, what a pretty classic eye this is. I just, I can't get enough of it. It's so, so nice. Let's talk about lips. I have really been enjoying these Bobbi Brown. These are kind of a newer product for them. This is the shade Romantic. This is like kind of like a hybrid between a lip pencil and a lipstick. And they're pretty well, they do last a little longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line first and then fill in. For gloss, I have been going back to my Dior Lip Maximizers. This one happens to be the Rosewood shade, um, but I also like the nude shades that are just a little bit more shimmery, not quite as opaque, but I think this looks really good with the Bobbi Brown Romantic. Okay, so I know this was not a crazy look or anything that interesting, but I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it's a very classy, traditional look that you could use at any time. Of course, you could use the whole face look for day. This is a great day look, but if you wanted to transition to night, the beauty of this is it's such a good neutral base, then you could just pop on a red lip. Um, I love using this Bite Beauty red lip. I'll put this up here. It's just a nice kind of a, almost like a fuchsia pinky red. So pretty with this or you could do more of a plum lip. You have so many options with this base of makeup. I also like to add sometimes to the eye look if I want a little bit of shimmer and it's nighttime, these Shiseido singles. This is in the shade Hora Hora Silk, and I'll show you. This is just a beautiful, you can see I've been using this quite a bit, and let me see if I can get a decent swatch for you. Right over here, it's just a very pretty kind of a champagne metallic, but it goes beautifully on top of any type of neutral eye. This on top of your bronzer is stunning and it looks like you've done something super fancy and all you've done is put a little bronzer in your crease and then put this on the top of your lid. So nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm glad to be back. I have a lot of great videos planned. Um, some skincare, a lot of skincare, which I'm excited about because I didn't do as much of that in my channel in 2021, but I'm excited to get into skincare with you guys. I have some fails, a lot of fails for you 
and some great drugstore makeup, some great high-end makeup. We're gonna do some um, full face of new brands, of old brands, all kinds of good information. As always, my job here is to be honest with you. I want to tell you what I honestly think. And of course, it's all my opinion. So take it for what it's worth. Glad to be back. Hope you guys are doing well. Please tell me in the comments below what you've been up to. I've missed you guys, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.